Hey everybody! Hi! My name is Guillermo and uh, I'm an effects artist on the World of Warcraft and today we'll be drawing the Winter Queen. She's the ruler of Ardenweald and she's... I think she's one of the coolest looking characters on Shadowlands. So let's get started. So first things first, when you first start drawing, uh, you know, get loose, use more of your arm. Um, if, you've, if you've been to any of these before, you know that like Drawing with your arm is very important. I have a small screen, so I tend to kind of scratch at it, but it's okay. And draw light. So don't worry uh, about you know making a, a heavy mark like this right now. Just kind of draw light. And I'm gonna start out with just a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. We can fix it later. And for her, I think I want her looking up and out this way, maybe um, up to my left, her right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split her face like this and do a cross this way. That way we can kind of anchor some of her features. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put her nose and I think I'm just going to put it right in the middle of the X right here. You can style it out by, if you can just do a circle like this, I think I'll do a little, little, little pointy, but that's fine. And now that I have her nose, I'm going to draw in her, her eyes. And these are just like, again, anchoring and just a sketch for her eyes. Circle here, circle there. Now because this eye is on the far end of her face, on the curve, I'm doing a little more of an oval rather than a circle, so I don't do this. And a general rule when drawing eyes is you can space them out by a circle, by the same size circle that you use for the eye. So if you look here, right there, that's the, that's the spacing that I would do. What's nice is it gives you this curve where you can also start making the start of the nose. And do a little, drew a little dark there, but that's okay. I'm gonna draw in her left eye, or at least just indicate it by a curve up here. And I'm what I'm doing is I'm making her eyelash. And it goes up, and I think I'll give it a little cute little triangle like that. I'll do the same for this side. Let's go into a little bit. And pop that one in there. You following along so far? All right. She also has some interesting little eyebrows. They look kind of like, they have like two points like this. And they don't quite go all the way around. I'll stop right, right there. And I'll do it for this one too. Here we go. The Winter Queen's eyes glow. They glow blue. But we'll go ahead and just indicate her irises, her pupils, like this. Now I'm not quite sure where I want her to be looking at, maybe straight on the camera or straight on to us, but right now she's looking a little bit off to the left this way. That's okay, we can always adjust. Let's put in the bottom of her, her eye right there. All right. Now, also, very important. If you have reference and you're, you know, you're doing this on your own, grab reference. It's okay. No shame in using reference. So, where do I go from here? She has this leaf pattern for her, for her head shape, um, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the center one first. So what we'll do is draw it this way, and make sure to keep in mind that these. These shapes are going back in, in space. So don't don't draw one just like this. Kind of like try and keep the, the space in line. Curves this way. 
Okay, that's the middle one. Now she's got two more, one here, one, one here, and one here. Let's continue that. And let's keep the shapes nice and soft. There we go, there's one. And the other side too. Trying to remember to keep these things in 3D space. All right. Her character has kind of a, these, these face shapes have these uh, center points, so go ahead and draw that to kind of give me an, another point of reference. Now, let's draw the ones on her cheeks. She has quite a bit of these, actually. She's got like seven, I think, but we'll just simplify. I think she's got some ears, too, but I'll draw the ones on the side of her face. There's one. And then this one, because it's behind her head, I'm just going to kind of indicate it. Yeah. Okay. Let's draw the mouth in. This is, uh... I'm, I'm going to do just a big cutesy, cutesy face. So, go ahead and just draw a straight line. And we're going to do kind of like a... Kind of lemon wedge shape. Just like this. And then for the uh, middle of our lips, let's do a little V and pull another one straight to the side. So if you want to put a little, little dimples or where her mouth kind of, her, her edges of her mouth meet up. There we go. Now do the bottom part, a second one just underneath. Now, let's do your bottom lip. Generally, bottom lips are, are a little bit thicker than the top. So I'm really just kind of following this bottom line right here. Um, now we can fill in just for later, just to remind me. And then teeth. Um, Rather than doing like drawing every little every little tooth like a chiclet, I'm just gonna kind of indicate it by just doing going to the corner of, of our mouth, oops, and just filling this in and the other side too. It's better. Okay, now let us. I'm gonna scoot this down a little bit. Actually, let's do her. Let's do her collar. She has an interesting collar with like more spikies and they kind of pin down in the middle. So right where the crop, the, the bisecting line is in her head, you can kind of gauge it by that, but just imagine her face. Imagine that line is going right down her head and that's where you can imagine that. Like, I'm just gonna draw this. Pokey one. This is an interesting shape because it actually wraps around her neck. And we'll do this. We'll just draw a second one, kind of, kind of wide. That just matches that. And instead of like drawing it down this way, just draw it straight across. That way, it kind of fakes going back. You do the other side and try to keep 3D in mind. She's got these clasps that hold um, hold her her collar in. I'm just gonna do really simple oval with another oval. I'm getting a little dark on this, so you know, don't follow me. <laughs> make it make it as light as you can, just to kind of we can go dark again later. There we go. Now let us draw her braids in. She's got hair that comes out behind these uh, leafy patterns and they come around. So I'll draw her braids right here. And I'm gonna do these like, just large ones. Very simple, 
because we're just simplifying, and we can add detail later, but at least it just indicates where her hair uh, is falling. And, and just to remind the it's really tough. Yeah, later on we'll probably fit in, uh, we'll probably put in some braid details, but for now that's not important. Just getting the base shape. Okay, I've been holding off on it, but let's get into it. Let's uh, leave this area for now and put in our antlers or tree branches. They're really, really cool and intricate, so we'll we'll do a little bit of simplifying. I think they come up uh, at a V, but they quickly spread out horizontally. So they come up this way, and I'm moving the, the canvas a little bit, and they come out horizontally like this, so at a curve. Same with this one. Now, because this one's at the far end, don't go quite as large with it, and make it, make it kind of short. Now, we're going to upturn this, the left, her right antler, and just do, make it curve around this way. So this is just kind of like, we're, we're guessing the shape at it, uh, guessing the shape of the antlers and just blocking them in. Let's do the same with the other ones. So we, so we have like, the general size of it. And let's fill it in. I'm going to use these as center points for the antlers or branches. Let's make another one out of it. Same with the other side. The reason why we make the middle one is if you don't like the shape of it, you can adjust those adjusters until you find one that fits, and then you can do what I'm doing here. Now, um, she has a little more antler details. I'm just doing these, uh, there's three of them, and they progressively get larger in size as they go outwards. I'm just gonna do this. Now, it doesn't, as I'm looking at it, here's where the eraser comes in. I'm not too happy with how straight I'm going. Let's do this. Let's point them out this way a little more. One, two. Hmm. We will move on. Okay. She has a little more detail up here. I think she has a second curve right about where it starts to turn inwards. And again, it's more intricate than this, but we're just simplifying it. Okay. I think as far as, oh, she also has some like, These are some complex and, and <laughs> complex uh, branches. They're really, really cool. I really love them. But let's add in some of the the leaves that are growing out of the branches. I don't think they have to be very specific. They're not. Um, you can just pop them wherever you feel. They would look nice. I'm just doing these little heart shapes. Okay. Not bad for a first sketch. Um, it looks kind of super happy. Let's finish out her, her cheek over here. This should be a little bit smaller. I feel like I made this too wide because I was following the circle, but that's why we, we draw lightly and we 
we can adjust later. The next thing is I'm just gonna complete this out. Do the chain. She has a, a chain that goes across the two clasps. Let's do just kind of the rest of cloak. All right, I for, I'm forgetting a big piece of her costume, and it is the big leaf collar that she has. Let's get that in there. Fix this. I'm gonna go back in here, and if we imagine, it's probably. I'm just don't don't draw this. I'm just kind of like gauging, but it's gonna be it's gonna look like an autumn leaf. So I think I'm just gonna do these. Draw another another uh, shape like this, and then kind of mimic this one too. Now they're sharper in the in the actual game, but I'm just I'm trying to keep everything soft and curved. Same with this. And then I'll do a similar treatment to the other side. And remember that you don't want to, you want to again, keep 3D in mind. So it's not gonna, because it's on the far end and it's turning away from you, it's not gonna have as much detail or length. It doesn't look like it has as much length as this. There we go. And we can put a little bit of this detail by following the line right there. Right there. And there. So this is a rough sketch. Um, we can... From here you can... Now we can move into the phase of detailing it out or... I like the way it looks. Um, I like the shape, I like how crazy it is, and I'm probably going to end up cropping, cropping it down something like this. So now we can go ahead and do a little a second pass of detail. Uh, if you're following on paper, um, you can go ahead and use, start using a, a, a darker, heavier stroke, maybe an ink stroke. Uh, because I'm on computer, I'm just going to make another layer and draw on top of that. So, for let's start with her nose. You see how I I lower the opacity on the sketch layer? That part um, that part is now just a reference layer, and I can go ahead and finish it up. That way, I don't have to draw in these uh, these uh, construction lines. And I can further style it out a little bit by changing some of the angles. This part is just bonus, you know, like this will you probably sit with it and have, you know, this is where you can really like put in a lot of style too. So, you know, rounding her cheek out. If you notice, my lines are also much more simplified. Maybe not as scratchy. Mm, 
We'll keep it in. <laughs> my mouth. We can do adjustments like I don't like how this line and this color are crossing like that, so I can push it a little bit. There, that's a little more interesting. And this is where I can correct this rather than erasing. I can just and then. It's almost like Tracy, but you get to do the adjustments because it's your drawing. Let's do one of these braids. I think I'll stop there because you can explore this on your own. Stop there because it's pretty much it's pretty much just tracing over and just adjusting it to how you would like to, to draw your picture but um, yeah I think this is good for now and uh, you know I'd like to see what you guys come up with it's your drawing so you can do whatever you want to it and you can change it uh, however you see fit and um, you know, add your own personal touch to it. Uh, thank you very much for drawing along with me. Uh, it's been awesome. Have a great time.